Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to look at one of the most important questions in the interview uh, that gets asked. What is public static void main or why your main method is public static and void? Let's try to answer this question. To answer this question, we are going to look at all uh, the keywords, which is public static and void. So let's go through them one by one. The main method is public because uh, the main method can be called from outside the class. That is the reason it is marked as public. That means any other class or JVM can call your main method from outside the class. So it is public. Let's see why it is static. When JVM calls your main method at that stage, it does not create any object of the class. That means the methods that are marked as static can be called without creating any object of uh, that class. That is the reason your main method is marked as uh, static. Let's look at why it is void. Void means your method does not return any value after completing its processing. Your main method does not return any value after it completes its uh, processing. That is the reason it is marked as void. And uh, finally, the Java expects our method to be named as main from where your program execution starts. So your starting point should always have the method name as main method. Now we'll look at why it accepts string array as an argument. Whenever you start your Java program, you have, uh, you have uh, the flexibility to pass parameters to your program while starting your program. You can pass several parameters and those parameters are passed in your string array, that is arguments. So the main method re receives those parameters and can uh, use those parameters for processing. That is the reason it uh, accepts your string array. Now we saw that why your uh, main method is public static and void. And also we saw why it accepts the string array. Now the interviewer might ask you the next question and that is uh, the follow-up question can we change the order of these keywords which is public static and void the answer is yes you can change the order of public and static keyword but you cannot change the order of void keyword it has to come just before your main method let's see some of uh, the valid and invalid combination of your main method signature this is the valid combination where it is public static void main. Uh, this is what we discussed. You can flip the order of public and static. We just reversed the order of public and static. So your method starts with uh, static and then public. Now let's look at some of the invalid combination. Uh, you can see the void came after static, which is not allowed in Java. Java will result in a compiler error. And finally, the void is the first keyword, which is uh, not allowed and uh, Java will uh, result in a compiler error. So that's all about public static uh, void and main. We discussed uh, about why it is public, why it is uh, static, why it is void, and uh, why the name is main. And that's it about, that's all about this video. Hope you are, you have enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.